My name is Keely Thomas. I'm a special effects makeup artist from North London. I first realised when I wanted to do prosthetics when I was about seven or eight. I watched the making of Thriller, but um, it seemed really interesting and really cool. And then about seven, when Buffy came out, I did exactly the same thing. I was obsessed with the series, watched the making of. I knew that there was a career I wanted to go into. Um, in school, I studied art, textiles and photography. And I went on to my A-levels where I um, studied those as well. And I did an FDA in makeup for media and performance and then they, I got to do a little bit of makeup and a little bit of costume a little bit of set design but I knew I wanted to do makeup so I went on to do a degree in makeup for media and performance as well where we studied uh, basic makeup hair um, wigs prosthetics and special effects um, I found the first year coming out of uni was one of the toughest to find work and to know exactly what you wanted to do because I still didn't but um, I found that I just took on anything and everything that came along so even if it was free if it was only expenses if I didn't think it was going to amount to anything you never know who you're going to meet so I just took everything and within that year even though it was very up and down at the time I met everyone that in my second year then took me on for work so you just have to stick at it there was loads of times where I wanted to give up and just get a normal job but uh, no, you just stick at it and then just keep on contacting people because it's the only way they're going to remember you. Um, so one of my first jobs when I left uni and came to Lifecast was looking after a puppet called Elf, which is this guy. Um, and that's on a series called Yonderland. Um, I worked on series two and now currently this year I've worked on series three. And basically I look after puppets, but they're made out of the similar or the same materials that we use to do prosthetics for makeup. So they require a lot of attention, um, they're really delicate, um, they require having hair put in. This one has no hair at the moment, but we have eyebrows and hairline, and that all gets put in, and I basically maintain it on set and keep the paint and everything looking the same for continuity. Um, and then after that, I did um, my first feature, which is called Redcon 1, which was a zombie apocalypse army film basically and um, I was a makeup supervisor on that um, where we did a lot of wounds, a lot of zombies, a lot of bites um, and then just basic straight makeup as well of which I had to maintain for the 10 weeks that we were shooting. Being a freelancer is one of the toughest things I think about this job. You never know when you're going to have your next job, where it's going to be, what it's going to pay, what are the hours. Do you have to travel an hour? Do you have to move? It's um, it's quite scary, but it's one of the most rewarding because when you do get something that you really enjoy, you can, you really appreciate it. It is scary when you know when you get that the boss comes up to you and tells you it'll be your last day, or that you're here for another two months. You just never know. Sometimes I wish I could just work in one place, but then you do find that you kind of get bored. As a creative person, it is quite nice to have the variation. Sometimes you're on set, sometimes you're in a workshop, sometimes you're working in people's homes. But uh, I think financially, it would be nice to stay in one place for a long period of time. Um, I think the best part of my job is creating things that make people usually quite squeamish. That tricks people into thinking that things are real. I think that's the most rewarding part. Cause I've been laying under palm trees waiting